Recently, I decided to ask some of my road to remission clients if they had any hesitations in joining road to remission. And while some of them said no, they had absolutely no hesitation, there were quite a few that did have hesitations and had reservations about joining road to remission. And in my post today, I wanted to show you guys just a couple examples of this, and then we can kind of dissect this a little bit. Okay, so here are three examples of road to remission clients that almost didn't join and why. So the first one, at the very top, you can see that they almost didn't join due to cost and they weren't sure if it was just another thing that they would spend money on and have that end up not working. And this is such a valid concern. I mean, we have all been, you know, diving into a treatment with all the hope in the world. And to have that not work out for you is devastating. And if you've had IC for at least a month now, I'm sure you've experienced this in one form or another. And it's not a good feeling. And I think our brains build up these walls and they build up these defense mechanisms where, you know, if someone is saying like, I can help you with this, that that thing in your brain that is skeptical now is all of a sudden like, there's no way that's going to help you. All right, let's check out the second one. So this person recently joined us. So she is only a couple of weeks into the program. She told me that she previously spent money on multiple things that didn't help. So she had seen a dietitian that was familiar with IC before. She did MRT or food sensitivity testing. That was $600. That's a lot of money. She did a mind body program. She did other programs. And she literally said to me, I guess I'm just thinking road to remission may be a waste of more money with few answers. So this goes along with what person number one said. It's just that distrust. And when people say this to me, you know, I absolutely validate their feelings because I've been there. I've I've suffered from that disappointing feeling many times. I mean, it is one of the worst feelings. And so You know, when people come to me with these concerns, I give them the data that we have. I I give them the results of that three month study that we did inside of the program. Moving my head so that you guys can see this third one. So this person is actually my client, Amy, who has shared this publicly in her testimonial. So she has no problem with me uh, saying her name on my story. So she said, if I'm being honest, I was extremely hesitant and joined road to remission because of the price. And then she said, I'd already spent a lot of money without success and thought my diet was under control. So she's kind of in the same situation as the first two people. So let's now take a look at where these people are now. We're going to start down at this bottom one here because this is the second half of Amy's quote. And she said, I'm so glad I decided that I was worth the money and that I could not be a good wife and mother if I was in constant pain. So she actually was ready to prioritize herself. And that's what a lot of, that is what actually everyone in Road to Remission is doing is prioritizing themselves. And maybe it's to be the best mom you can be or the best wife or um, parent that you can be your child whatever it may be, you know, it could just be you doing it for you. You don't have to have another person in your life that's relying on you that you need to like be perfect for. Um, So this is just an example of somebody who thought that, you know, this was a huge investment. She wasn't sure if it was going to be another thing that might not work, but she decided to take that leap of faith and is now in remission after three months. Okay. This person was missing work due to her IC and was spending a lot of money on treatments that just weren't working. And she is now saving that $700 and she is making her full paycheck. So she is working full time again and she's not missing nearly as many days because of her IC. And when we talk about, you know, return on investment for road to remission, like she is already getting close to you know, getting that money back and and saving money long term. And this is exactly what I'm talking about when I say my clients end up saving money long term. Okay, this third person here is saying exactly what I'm saying right here. It's just echoing it. And she's thrilled about it. This last one is from my client, Amanda. And she is doing so much better with her IC. She is back working full time. And 
she was doing a lot of inter intervention. She was doing PT, acupuncture, supplements, four different medications, um, bladder installations. So she was doing a lot and estimated it to be about $415 every month. And she now, I don't even think does any of this. Maybe she takes one or two medications still, but she has drastically cut down on the amount of finances she was investing into her health every single month. I just talked about some of the IC wins my clients have had, some of the you know, finances that they've been saving after being in road to remission. But now I want to talk about the time that our clients are saving. So many of our clients have told us that they wished they had joined road to remission sooner because we have a program that is structured to get you results in three months. So road to remission is designed to help you minimize your symptoms in three months time. And we do that through guiding you through an elimination diet. So we're helping you investigate your diet triggers and your non-diet triggers. We help you, once you identify those, to remove them or get them treated. Um, and we also educate you on just everything you need to know about living with IC, how to thrive instead of just survive, you know, tips and tricks and, and tools for your toolbox. And then we also have the, the community element of it. I just for a second want you to think about how much time you've lost to interstitial cystitis. How much time have you spent in waiting rooms? How much, how many social events have you had to miss out on? Or, you know, family time, time together with your loved ones, family vacations, you know, how much of that have you missed out on due to IC? Has it been months, years, decades? You know, I, I've, have, I've had clients who I've had IC for more than a decade and you know it's never too late to get started on this. I mean there are so many things that you could be overlooking that having experts on your team to help you identify it can be the game changer for you. I mean just take my client Nina for example. She had IC for about 10 years and was in excruciating pain on a day-to-day -day basis. When Nita came to me, she told me she was going through her days in constant 8 out of 10 burning pain. She was a nurse, so she needed to be able to take care of her patients. She wasn't even able to take care of herself. She, she was really struggling, and she wasn't being the grandma that she wanted to be to her grandkids. And she knew that she was missing out on... The, the moments and the memories that were being made and she knew she had to do something about it. So after just three to six months in the program, she, after just three months in the program, she cut her pain levels in half. And then after six months in the program, she reached remission and she is now super grandma, like living her best life, not in any pain, but she has the tools she needs to treat any flare ups if they do come up only are our clients feeling better in just three months they're also saving time money and energy okay so if you are feeling ready to take that leap of faith that so many of our community members have taken dm me the word ready and i will send you an application